Hello, hey everyone. Joey Sparks here. And today, God's mercies are brand new. Word test. Short word, pretty common word. What does it mean? When we think about tests in school, we want to know a measurement of what a student knows. Do you know the material or not? Do you know the facts? Do you know the processes? Do you know the critical thinking that's necessary to have mastered this subject? We think about testing strength, the strength of a chain, the strength of a rope, the strength of some kind of uh, platform perhaps that we want to put something on. We test it to see if it's strong enough. We find, of course, that vernacular used in the spiritual sense in the New Testament because our faith is indeed tested. God allows us to be tested. We're even talked of, told in, in chapter 12 of Hebrews um, that, that God kind of sends some moments of testing upon us to test us, to test our strength. And w- what we're doing is we're proving that we trust. We're proving our trustworthiness uh, toward God. When you get to 1 John, John uses the word test in chapter 4 about the spirits, about the messages that they would hear about God. Listen to how he leads into that. It's chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit. That's strong. Don't be gullible. Don't believe everything you hear about God. But instead, he says, test the spirits to see whether they are from God. They might say they're from God. They might use God-sounding words. It might be people who come in and sound all holy, and yet, he says, you need to test them to see if they're actually from God. He says, here's why many false prophets have gone out into the world. As you live, you're going to run into people who pretend to be prophets, pretend to be from God, and yet their message might not be from God, so test them, see where they do come from. But then he gives the answer key in verse 2. By this you know the Spirit of God. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come into the flesh is from God. Every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. There's a starting point. How does this person, how does this message, how does this doctrine, how does it treat Jesus? Where does it stand with Jesus? And of course, it extends from there into other areas. Where does it stand on Jesus? Is he from God? Is he in the flesh? Do they teach that? Do they obey that? Do they live that? Do they honor the rest of his word? The rest of the New Testament? The rest of his teachings? There's the standard. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you know he came in the flesh? The incarnation, the deity of Jesus, the starting point for knowing the Spirit is from God. Now we need to take that attitude and be humble about that. We need to do what the Bereans did in Acts 17 verse 11. And just not automatically believe everything that we are told by others, by those who would maybe even claim to be from God. But instead, do we know that it is from God? We pass it through that filter of truth and the filter of Jesus the Christ. We thank you for watching today. It's our humble prayer that, that this word of God, the timeless word of God, will be on your mind all day today. Jesus.